Hey there guys, it's Lee here. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I certainly am and I'm looking forward to sharing this uh, video experience uh, with you guys. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to GPU mine Sire coins. So I'm going to be showing you how to mine Sire coins using your AMD or NVIDIA graphics card on your home PC. So the mining program that I'm going to be using is called the Marlin Miner and it's provided by SireMining.com which is a Sirecoin uh, mining pool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the whole process, show you how the software works, and um, hopefully get you up and running mining Sirecoins. So I'm just gonna be using the machine uh, next to me, which is the Windows uh, 10 machine. Um, it's got a NVIDIA GTX uh, 970 inside it, and that's the one I'm gonna be using for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, I have already used the miner on a other machine that has the two uh, R7-370s in it, and I got really good results with that. So now I'm gonna show you on this um, NVIDIA machine, and um, yeah, hopefully, like I say, get you uh, up and running. So the first thing we need to do is uh, download the actual Marlin miner. So I'm on the actual website that I uh, created to um, help you guys, which is ironmineblocks.com. Uh, and you should see the post on there, which is how to mine Sire coins with your graphics cards. And then we've got um, step two, which is download the Marlin Sire coin miner. So we're just gonna click on that and then we're gonna download it. And that's gone to our downloads folder. So if we just click on and uh, we can open up our downloads folder. So here's the miner here and it is a zip file. So we just wanna right click and then we're just gonna um, extract it. So then it puts that obviously into a folder. Uh, one thing I want to mention as well, just very quickly is that this miner can be used on Windows 32 and also 64 uh, bit. So it's um, pretty useful. So inside there is three um, files. One is the Marlin miner, the actual executable, the actual program itself. Um, there's a default bat file that was provided with the miner and then you've got start.bat which is a uh, batch file that I created um, for the purposes of this video. So to get started what we need to do is we select the start.bat file and if we go right click and we go to edit uh, you might get a windows notification and we just want us to go to more info and then we want to run anyway. Um, that's just some windows protection there. And if I just center this on the actual uh, screen, I'm just gonna close down the browser there in the background there. Um, so we've got the start.bat file. So inside here, there's um, really only three um, options, but it looks like there's more text just because of the way they've um, formatted it. So all this part of the top, you know, let me just select that. All this part of the top is basically just basic information. You really don't need to worry about that at all. And um, the parts that you want to change is where it's got set address and then equals. This part here is currently um, my address and you wanna change that to your own Sirecoin address. So the one that you've created using your wallet, um, you can alternatively use a, um, an exchange deposit address, but I wouldn't really recommend that. It's definitely better to use your own local wallet address uh, for this kind of thing. So you need to change this to your own Sirecoin wallet address. The next part is the set worker equals, and then I've just got worker X. This is just an actual uh, nickname for your worker, so just set it to um, you know whatever you like. Um, I've just got it for a work X, just so I know which machine is running, um, and it's just easier to kind of uh, keep track on. So that's just a nickname. You can leave it as it is, or you can change it to um, whatever you want. The next part is the set intensity, and then we've got equals, and it's currently set to 21. You might want to try that just to start off with. It's kind of the basic um, default setting. Um, I've used it at 28 on a couple of machines and um, that seemed to work uh, fine uh, as well. So that should be fine. So you do your address, you do your worker nickname and the intensity, you can just kind of leave it as it is. And what it does is it changes that formatting and then it uses this kind of command line at the bottom. So you just need to, le need to leave that in place uh, as it is. Um, and then you can continue. So you just go and save it. You can close that. Now, if we double click on the start.pat file, it will open and uh, run the miner. So you can see the actual miner's fired up there. And then it's got you some basic information. So it says uh, platform NVIDIA CUDA. So it's detected the uh, GTX 970. And um, it looks like it's gonna run in CUDA mode on this. Um, a lot of times um, the OpenCL mode is, is faster. 
Uh, and as it goes down, we can see um, it's currently mining at 175. So um, before this video, I did actually give it a quick test and I've got the same kind of results. Um, the miners that I'm sorry, the actual driver version that I'm currently using is uh, 34788. And I'm using those drivers because they are the best with uh, Ethereum miner or the ETH miner. But with this one, I think it actually is not working so good. So if you are going to use this miner on a NVIDIA platform, you probably might want to try um, using the latest um, NVIDIA drivers. I think you'll get better um, hashing performance. And um, what I might do is I might actually just do that now to write in the actual middle of this video. So let me just close this. And then we will um, update our drivers. Uh, because of Windows, um, the auto update, I've been having to uh, keep rolling back my drivers, which is uh, kind of a nuisance. Um, but it should make this particular process um, faster. Just go to update driver. It should um, update fairly quickly. If not, we can use the power of editing and we can just chop this section out. So we're currently using uh, 6839. Let's close that. Let's close that. Um, let's try the miner now with those um, updated drivers and um, see what happens. Oh yeah, dramatic increase. Huge increase. So it says, um, so it's still running in CUDA mode. But you can see now it's basically uh, running at almost one giga hash and they're at so yeah uh, over a thousand mega hashes per second so that's a really um, huge increase so if you do have uh, an nvidia card and you want to use this miner um, you want to be using the most uh, re recent um, nvidia drivers so like i say with the actual uh, the ethereum miner it's better to use older miners, but it appears with this Cycoin miner and the NVIDIA card, you definitely want to be using the newer drivers. So I'm glad I just confirmed that, and um, I thought that was worthwhile to uh, share with you guys because uh, I know a lot of you guys probably would have been previously yeah, using the ETH miner as well as and the old drivers, so you wouldn't have got those um, as good of results. So I think that's about it for this video. So the other thing was, um, yeah, the performance on my uh, R7 270s, I've got two of those in one machine, and that was running at about 950 mega hashes, um, you know, just to give you a comparative uh, kind of basis. Uh, I'm yet to try it on some of my other machines. But um, yeah, anyway, so what has gonna happen from here on is this is gonna mine to the actual pool, which is the Cyquan uh, mining pool. Oh, the other thing as well is actually, let me just double check something. Um, because I didn't actually change the uh, intensity, so that was just running with uh, basic intensity of uh, 21 there. Let's just try if we go to 28. Does it make much difference? Mm, doesn't really seem to make very much difference, um, I don't think there. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just minimize that for a second. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to show you was is um, how to check your um, statistics and things like that. So the Cyan Mining Pool will, will basically pay you out once you've reached uh, 2,000 Cyan Coins. But I just want to show you how you can actually check your uh, statistics. So if you go to uh, cyanmining.com, uh, the website will open, and then you'll see the you've got the address box kind of um, halfway down the page. Just paste into that address box your Cycoin address, the one that you're currently using for mining, and click on go. And then something should happen. Let's try that again. Make sure I. Okay, that's better. Just didn't work for the first time for some reason. Um, and then it, so you've got basically a, a stats kind of a preview for your um, your address. So like I said before, I was actually mining on one of my other machines, which was the uh, the R7 370s, the, the twin twin rig. Um, so that's still mining. You can see that uh, down there. Uh, and we've got, where is it? Um, I think it's actually using the same um, 
nickname, so that that causes uh, confusion. Probably should have gave that another name. Um, but I think that is the one that is down there. That's uh, hashing at 902. And then this uh, this one, yeah, the one minute ago, that's going to update as well. So yeah, have um, unique nicknames for each one of your uh, machines. Most people will probably just have a single machine, but if you are going to use multiple machines on the same Sire coin address, then you just use um, different nicknames. It'll just be easier for you to track. Um, but yeah, that's just a general overview. So it tells you how what your performance is like over hour 15 and five minutes, your valid shares, and you know what your rewards are um, over time. So I think that covers pretty much um, everything that you might need or want to know. Uh, hopefully this video has been useful uh, to you. If you have any questions or comments, um, as always on any of my videos, then just post a comment in the comments area below. Um, I'll put links to the, the miner and the other various uh, resources uh, in, in the actual description, so you've got easy access to those. And um, yeah, it should be all up and running and hopefully mining Cycoin and um, yeah, doing well from it. So thanks for watching guys, till the next video, take care, see ya.